Hey guys. So, uh, part of the ongoing series of, it's like an Ask Me Anything kind of video tribute, except more or less, less just one topic at a time. So, when I, you know, I don't spend like 20 minutes talking about 50 different things. It's going to be one single topic uh, for this one. And uh, so far, it's a bunch of awesome things to go through. So, uh, first of all, just to start off saying, it's November, and so I've been growing this up a little bit, um, which makes me a freaking, it's a little bit messy, but come, uh, part of the deal I have at work is that everyone's, you know, got mustache and stuff. I look really creepy with mustache, so right now I'm just kind of growing it all out, and then for two days, I've worked out two days, I have to have a mustache. So I'll try and do a video then so you can see how creepy I am with a mustache. But anyways, so for the first question here, uh, we'll just go with B. Ken's first one, actually, uh, which is that I know on ASG it's become a heated discussion, but what are your thoughts on camel restrictions? Um, part of the discussion on ASG comes out from uh, the most recent uh, big event, which is Cobalt's uh, Autumn Justice. And essentially, uh, what Cobalt did with his game is he's got a tan versus green sort of skew, um, and he allows essentially a variety of different camel patterns to exist on the field together as long as they follow within a color range of tan versus green and there were some people at the event who were stating you know what is tan what is green and there were some people there who blatantly were wearing the wrong uniform in order to, to uh, fool someone else um, and so a lot of people brought up the the topic of you know a lot of national events uh, there is an expectation that it would be Woodland BDU versus uh, a DCU slash, you know, multicam sort of deal. Which is, the, which is where I kind of find a little bit of a bullshit point, which is that from my experience, it's always been one team gets stuck with Woodland while the other team manages to go out and get all the cool gear stuff and gets to wear multicam and uh, any, approach, any other tan, tan, tan thing they want. So it's... In, in my sense of the understanding, it would always be DCU versus uh, Woodland BDU. Um, but, uh, but nonetheless, um, I, my personal opinion is that it, it's a system that works. It's, I have no problem with it, primarily because Woodland or DCU, what have you, uh, they cost nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, I got all my, almost all my Woodland stuff for like you know, five to ten dollars. And then, yeah, I went and got True Spec Top because I wanted some Velcro because I wanted to show off my team and massive and other things. Rah. But that didn't cost more than 40 bucks. I mean, for Christ's sakes, it's not that expensive just to have a secondary uniform. I have probably six different uniforms I could wear at any time, and then I could do combinations of the bunch. So it's not that difficult. And plus, the other thing, too, you want to have some uniqueness to yourself. You know, get a woodland top, but then wear, you know, tack like pros, like, you know, like we do, like my team does. Like, it's 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 up to you guys and what you do with it. But I think that for, for any event, it's really important that two teams, the two teams have a very large difference in their color orientation. Because, you know, normally when you're fighting in a war, in a real war situation, you have a little bit more to kind of guide you and who to shoot at and who not to shoot at. Granted, there's always, you know, some gray areas. But nonetheless, you can generally tell who's who, while in an airsoft situation, you're all pretty much American, you're all pretty much wearing the same things, so it really kind of needs to have more of like the red coats versus, you know, the Revolutionary War guys kind of thing to help you, guide you, which is the correct target. Um, and then of course, you know, there's always the tape, but I really have no issue in my mind of hosting large games based on woodland versus DCU. It, to me, it makes sense. What Cobalt's doing also makes sense. It's fine. I think it works in a regional sense. Like, uh, you know, pretty much everyone's playing from New Hampshire, everyone's playing from Massachusetts, what have you. But when it becomes bigger, and I say a national stance, and not to say that Cobalt's games aren't national events in their own, their own right, because they do draw people from all over the place. But they're not, you know, they're not up to the point yet where they're being, you know, they're one time only deal held in another state where it draws people from all over the country, and I mean all over the country, in large numbers to play. So I think I think when you, you, you reach a point when you're getting like 300 plus players, you know, up to 400, 500, you really need to just standardize it and keep it all in the same range because that's that's the point where it's it just needs to be more controlled. And yeah, I 
seeing other people at an event who are specifically wearing a uniform to try and, you know, uh, confuse other people, it's kind of bullshit. Um, you know, but that's grand. That's not on the event runner, it's on the player. And we should always just work, you know, within our own communities and stuff to identify and point these things out. And of course, make sure those people who do that don't do it again or don't come and play again. That sort of thing. So, long story short, my opinion is small games, you can have a general color basis, but you don't need to keep it really strict. The larger the game gets, though, I have the opinion of very, you know, a bit more specific in terms of what your color orientation is. Because that way you get a little more controlled statement, and honestly, it doesn't cost that much money to do. So, that's that. Uh, tomorrow, maybe the next day after that, I don't know, depending, we'll go on to another topic. So, thanks for submitting stuff, and keep on putting them up there, because I enjoy reading this stuff. This is actually pretty good. Thanks.